Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-chingery. There's nothing on earth like the feeling of green. There's nothing on earth like the feeling of green. <laughs> Please don't do that again. People of Agrabah, my daughter has finally chosen a suitor. He is a man Jasmine? Of Ali, where have you been? Jasmine, there's something I gotta tell you. Your attention, please. The random drawing for 3rd Street's annual student principal golf match against 89th Street School is about to take place. Do we have any last minute entries? Anyone? <laughs> entries, that's rich. Golf is for old people. Golf is boring. Last chance. Anybody? Very well. And the winner is Vince LaSalle. <gasps> Kingdom has turned out for Father's announcement. No, but Jasmine, listen to me, please. You don't understand. Just good luck. Oh boy. You're hungry, aren't you? Mm -hmm. But I don't have any metal here. Just follow me. Oh, Simba. It's the hyenas who are the real enemy. It was their fault. It was their idea. We'll get to the norm crisis. But first, there are a couple of other items on today's agenda we have to deal with. A first order of business. The Historical Society has tabled a motion to rename Genghis Khan Memorial Park to Royal Park. Hey, Benny. Nice game against St. Catharines this morning. How many buckets you score? Fourteen. You're gonna be league high score if you keep that up, kid. You just gotta keep your elbows in. That's my man. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the joining of Rapunzel and Eugene in marriage. <gasps> they will live their lives together. Oh, no. Husband and wife. All in favor? Aye! All against? The motion is passed. Next order of business. For the third time in three weeks, an anonymous individual has tabled a motion to rename Crest Haven Street Dracula Drive. Ah, so you haven't told them your little secret. Well, now's your chance to tell them. Tell them. Here it is. What's it say? Long ago, the land upon which this town was built was peopled by gnomes. Everlasting peace. May I have the rings? <gasps> Gotta use the bathroom. Uh, that's all for now. Just go back to your fun. Well, you get the idea anyway. I was born right down. I believe this is the call you've been expecting, sir. David Zanatos here. At 2 a.m., you will come alone to the offshore oil rig at Black Rock Point with the sum of $20 million in cash. Failure to pay will result in the immediate extermination of your prize specimen. A pity the voice didn't stay on the line for three more seconds. And by the way, I found a few of your friends, by which I mean all of them. Sorry. Acceptable work, bad cop. Thank you, sir. Emmett, that should give you enough time to witness the first location to be craggled. Your hometown. Bad cop, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave you here to die. What? It's I... not personal. It's just business. Lord business. Ciao. <laughs> All 
Officer Halcroft already came by to search for clues. Maybe he did, but even he doesn't have the keen eye of a vampire detective. Pardon me. Aha! No footprints. <laughs> Actually, my niece and nephews came by yesterday, and they were running around. Aha! An Alaskan travel brochure. Possibly left behind by a forgetful gnome. <laughs> Actually, I... Hold on! I'm coming! Oh, oh, dear me. It's coming! I don't believe it. How did Officer Halcroft miss this clue? A macrame owl? No, Lily. Not a macrame owl. I believe it's time to feel fast Gretchen's secret weapon. If my calculations hold true, TJ should be able to kick the ball farther than he's ever kicked a ball before. Quit prolonging the agony, Deadweiler. You're up. You might want to back up, boys and girls. First order of business. For the fourth time in four weeks, an anonymous individual has tabled a motion to rename Crest Haven Street Dracula Drive. All in favor? Aye. All against? Nay! The motion is defeated. Again. And now, a quick update on the gnome crisis. Some local kids admitted to taking the garden gnomes as a prank. Evidently spooked by something, they returned every one of them before turning themselves in. May I have the ring? was that? Uh-oh. Nice kick, Detweiler. <laughs> Maybe it was one of the other kids with a job. I'm surprised, Detweiler. I didn't think you had it in you. Say what? Well, a lot of kids would have come in here and wimped out, but you went all the way. You're a leader, boy. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if you had what it takes to be a real principal someday. Really? I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. I, I couldn't go without Michael and John. Oh, I should like very much to cross swords with some real buccaneers. Yes, and fight pirates, too. <laughs> wow. Do you really think we'd scare George and his friends so badly that they actually admitted to a prank they didn't pull? Well, there can't be any other explanation. Well, it was beautiful. I knew I could turn him around. The boy's a natural. Five minutes in there, and those no-gooders will be begging for mercy. <laughs> so, who wants a piece of cake? <laughs> I will go get him. Okay. Um, that's all for now. Just go back to your fun. To the kidnappers is simple. Contact me. Nothing will be gained by dragging this out. Call me. No games. We'll talk. <laughs> I think it's time to say goodbye.